Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 3 Series Generation F30, F31. This is the 3 Series BMW from year 2013 to year 2019. If you have one of those, you need to see where the windshield wipers relay is located, which relay you need to check, where you can buy cheap fuses, parts, tools, the good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money. And why it's important to test fuses and relays, guys, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stand tuned. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car that we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix pretty much anything, engines, transmissions, bodywork. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. On this channel, you will be able to find videos about every single fuse on that BMW relay. Let's say you're down the road, uh, you're in the middle of nowhere and you blow a fuel injection fuse, you need to see where it's located. Uh, we'll have the video on the channel. You just search for one or two minutes, look at the video, replace it and you're back on the road. Otherwise guys, it's really confusing with these fuses. That's why we are making these videos. If you need to buy any tools, uh, parts for your BMW, uh, fuses, relays at a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. We'll share it for your convenience. So let's start on it now. So the wipers relay, where it's located, you guys do not have a relay for the wipers. You have a relay fuse and a special computerized relay box, that we just will explain where you can find it. Uh, now we'll demonstrate on a 2013 BMW guys, okay 3 series here. Uh, this specifically is the 3 series from uh, year 2013 to 2019. Fun fact about that car, you have up to 6 different fuse boxes, most people know about 2 or 3 but you have up to 6. We have a special video about the fuse box location on our channel check it out guys uh, now you need to open the trunk if you open the trunk on the right side if you remove that cover here just pull it out you have a fuse box guys underneath it the fuse box looks like this one before we continue let's explain why it's important to test fuses and re relays so now why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays because often you may think you have a good fuse right but uh, it could be guys a bad fuse sometimes it's really hard to tell it's hard to see you have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad you may end up spending time money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need so always test fuses it takes only uh, a few seconds we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how to test relays as well relays are easy to test uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys so check out the links will be in the description of the video below so this is known as a relay fuse box that fuse box will have multiple functions relay functions and uh, you have a fuse for the wipers here they're named uh, number one two three four five but actually guys the fuse that you need to check the relay fuse for the wipers is fuse number one but that's actually fuse number 82 guys known as fuse number 82 it's a 20 amp fuse that you need to check here hopefully guys the video will be helpful if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching see you next time